Frida Kahlo and other historical women are now going to be made into Barbies in celebration of International Women's Day. So uh, Mattel is gonna be rolling out a Shiro line, uh, basically celebrating the herstory. And some of the many figures that they're gonna be celebrating are uh, Frida Kahlo, Amelia Earhart, and Katherine Johnson. So you know Amelia Earhart is the first female aviator to fly across the Atlantic Ocean. Frida Kahlo, a renowned artist uh, known for her unique painting style and her feminist activism. And then of course, uh, Katherine Johnson, whose story was highlighted in the movie Hidden Figures, broke boundaries for black women in mathematics and calculated dozens of trajectories for NASA, including the 1969 Apollo 11 flight to the moon. Um, so the dolls are part of a new series that they're rolling out called Inspiring Women, and they will be mass produced and sold in stores. There you can take a look at some of the other people. Chloe Kidd. Yeah, Bindi Irwin. Um, so I think what this is, is Patty oh, Jenkins. I didn't even Janelle know they did Monet. Pat no, 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 that's- Nicole Adams. Nope, not, not even close. Yeah. Um, yeah, so they're rolling out a whole bunch of these and they, uh, they say that they will come with educational information about the women who inspired each doll. So with the doll, you not only get some cool and interesting uh, outfits and professions that come along with it, but you also get a historical basis for who they are, who they represent, and a little bit more about their story. So you're getting your yeah. money's worth. It's more than just a doll. A couple things. Okay. These, you brought Big up- Big doll yeah. fan, Amir? Um, I appreciate toys okay. of all of all sorts. Good. That doesn't sound weird at all. Um, the outfits are really amazing, they especially are. like Amelia Earhart's. Those pants were dope. Another thing is, wait, go back. The pants on. Let me see the pants on Amelia Earhart. How do you point out the pants on? Look at the, the, they look I, like pants. No, they the jacket. They looks look like, like those like old timey like air like. And pilot pants that will she say, would wear. Little nitpicky. They're on not just pants. They, Do you see like how they're like they're baggier on top? That's that's okay. a lot of attention to detail. You, Every one of them. Another they, thing, okay. I love the joints on these toys. They don't do that quite often enough, but like joint movement is very important. You're right. For, for and the action hands, figures. The hands. My favorite toy when I was growing up was a Spider-Man that you could move all the joints around. Wow. Best best thing ever. Did you did you have toys? Please start a toy review channel. Please start a toy review channel. Be kind of creepy. I did have it was. Yeah, you're really creepy. Amir's toy. Amir's reviews. toys. Every I, toy. I did have actually Barbies growing up for a time up until my parents realized that I would cut the hair off them and just not. You know, I was weird with Barbies in in a very like punk rock way for a little child, and I preferred you know sports. Um, but I did have a Snow White because I really loved that movie. What they didn't know is I loved The Witch. And so they got me Snow Who White. Didn't? The witch was the best such character. A, yeah, yeah, it's just such a bad bitch. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, just why does she turn into like like this like witch? Because she's like kind of like a beautiful mean queen at first. Yeah. But then she transforms into this monster anyway. Because like, she does what she wants. Yeah. But anyway, I had a Snow White doll, and I remember the limitations of her legs. You couldn't run. You couldn't make very them, annoying. You have to walk you them back. You need those and forth. joints. It's it's everything. Like put like add ten dollars to the price of that as long as you're gonna give me joints. But as as I sit here and talk to you about this, we don't know Barbies because No, you know, my sister had a lot and I would play with yeah, them. Yeah, but we don't know recent Barbies. Maybe they all have not these joints. Them, take that back. Yeah. Yeah, make sure you take that back. Asterisks to the editors. We'll just bleep out that whole let thing. Let me let me yeah. I don't think we should stop at, at female like Shiro's. We need we need to also Make this a thing for guys, because I don't think guys have enough like real life heroes. Oh, I completely as well. like, agree. Like what? Like people are like looking up to like YouTube stars and like Logan and Jake Paul and whatever. But like they should be learning about like Abraham Lincoln and like Martin Luther King. I don't know. Like just like male figures in addition to female figures that mm -hmm. we should all all look up to, and like boys and girls should be doing this. From I think also a variety of backgrounds. So the people that you named were like either social activists, political activists, but I think what's cool about what, what Barbie is doing yeah, is they're rolling out like athletes, they're rolling yeah. out filmmakers. Um, then you also have these pioneers within yeah. their industry. But I think that just having these attain what they have these like attainable. It makes me think like because like you go back and look at like a lot of these male figures and stuff, and then. With the information that we have today, like you find out that like a lot of them weren't as great as like we all think they were. Like yeah. I, I didn't know this, but like Gandhi was apparently like very abusive to women. I also didn't know that. You guys should fact check me on that, but like I've I've heard this rumor from who? From I don't places. know where you get like your information he was like from. He, like there was this like some like shady things about Gandhi, like you know like peace loving <laughs> I mean, Gandhi. Amir Nakui, Barbie expert and Gandhi truther. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. All right. Well, we want to hear from you guys now in the comment section below. 
What a Wonka doodle story. Uh, would you be interested in this Shiro line? Is this something that you would appreciate? Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Let us know what you think, and we'll see you next time on Pop Trigger.